why oh why can't I have a travel trailer? I am so excited and thrilled to announce my partnership with Black Series for a beautiful HQ21 travel trailer. This thing is amazing. It is so rugged. It is so gorgeous on the inside. I am so grateful. I am a Black Series girl at heart and maybe over the past decade I have been having, you know, three babies and raising a family with the husband deployed. But we are finally at a point in our life where my youngest is three, my husband is home a lot more and on the verge of retiring and being able to surprise him, yes, I surprised my husband with this RV, which is insane. So cool that I was able to do that. But to have this time as a family, to have this adventure to go on together, to be able to put my own taste and spin on things, it's really just so awesome. I'm so grateful. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the Black Series HQ21. Okay, here we are inside my brand new Black Series HQ21 travel trailer. So right now I'm in the bedroom. How gorgeous is this light and this background? We have nothing in here yet. Don't worry, I will show you all around, but let's just talk about getting an RV as somebody who's never stepped inside an RV before. I surprised my husband with this $100,000 Black Series HQ21 RV, and I can't wait to show you all the things that make it worth that much money, why we chose this one. It's a dream, you guys. It's truly a dream. I have absolutely no experience with RVs. I can't believe it's happening, honestly. There's been a few things in the last few months where I've been like, wow, it's happening. And it's all because I just have the courage to say, why, oh, why can't I? Like, why, oh, why can't I be a partner with Black Series and have these amazing experiences with my family and share stories from my angle? from somebody who's not like every outdoorsy hunter that you see right now on the channel. Why can't I? So I am. As a newbie, as somebody who literally has never, <laughs> it's wild. Why did we choose a tow trailer and what makes the Black Series HQ21 special? Like why did we pick this over any other options out there? We want to be able to have unique, one-of-a-kind, epic experiences, but still be comfortable because at the end of the day, we're a family of five with three kids, and right now they're not at the age where getting too crazy with our adventures is fun for anybody. So many times in my life where I'm like, oh, that sounded like a really good idea, and then it just wasn't. We do want flexibility. We want to be able to travel with our family vehicle, set up camp, explore the surrounding areas and the towns, the destinations, and then have a home base that is completely capable to be off-grid, that can sustain itself on its own. That's what this bad boy is. When I say the Black Series travel trailers are rugged and badass, I mean bad freaking I don't even know what a lot of this stuff means. I know when me and my husband were pulling up pictures of RVs and looking at all of the different suspensions, the different options to be able to get into those nitty gritty cool camping places. He took one look and was like, that is the most amazing trailer I've ever seen. Then I saw the inside. <sighs> She's gorgeous, y'all. She's gorgeous. It's so warm in here right now. Everything is just, uh. I love the cream interior. It's so inviting in here. It's warm, it's clean, it's fresh. Everything is really well done on the inside. Whenever anybody walks in here, they're like, wow. I mean, she's pricey. This is not a cheap RV and it doesn't look cheap. She looks like her price tag, but we wanted that. With a family of five, we wanted something that was new, that didn't need fixing up, that could take us where we need to be safely, that we could rely on. So ultimately, Black Series, the HQ21, was it for us. This is such a good match for our family. Love it, love it, love it. So speaking of this bougie lady's price tag, the cost analysis, like how do you figure that out? Obviously these travel trailers are not cheap. They are luxury on the inside. They have so much capability on the outside that a lot of other travel trailers can't offer. But with that being said, when we looked into getting an RV, it's not because we are the family that wants to do RV life, living in RV. We wanted the adventures. We wanted the memories, the experiences, and the travel. 
It might be easier sometimes for families or RV owners who are looking to live full-time in an RV to justify the purchase. But let me tell you something that I have been thinking about ever since we started throwing around the idea of the RV that makes it worth it for us. We look at this RV as a long-term investment. Because we're not living in it full-time, I'm actually interested in the future in a couple years. Definitely not right away. Eventually, it'd be nice to rent out this RV so that other families can have these amazing experiences experiences. I feel a really big calling to help spouses whose husbands are in career transition for the military. So on the edge of retirement, just retired because there's a lot of conversations that need to be had. And I'm hoping down the road a few years, this might be a little haven for them that I can offer free of charge to go and reconnect and have awesome experiences. That's just like a big goal or the big picture thinking for me when it comes to the big purchase, like an RV or a travel trailer. I don't know if you heard that, the heat just kicked on. I keep turning the thermostat down because it is warm in here. It is so nice. While looking at travel trailers and RVs is a big purchase, I am not downplaying that at all, especially, like I said, she is bougie, she's nice. She's got the luxuries. This is not a fixer-upper trailer. This is first class. With that does come a price tag. But again, for us, we think about the value we get, number one, as a family, the value we get when we travel, how we can go to more places, stay in more places. I'm so excited to look up Harvest Host because for one-time payment, $99 a year is the plan that I was looking at. You have access to all these cool camping destinations and you don't have to pay extra camping fees. Like, that's it. You pay your year membership, you have access to all these places. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where we can go, how much money we can save, save on travel. We drive a lot to my parents' house in Georgia. They live in the Blue Ridge Mountains, which are gorgeous. Can't wait to get the trailer over there. We have a long journey to go together, guys, because I have never, neither has Handsome, dealt with an RV. And I feel confident. There's so much information out there on YouTube now. Is I've graduated a lot from the School of YouTube and all different majors. But I told Handsome, I want to be the first person to dump the black water, the black dumping line. The terms aren't down yet, but you know what I mean? I'm going to be the first one to dump all the waste, the sewage, because, oh yeah, there's a bathroom in here. There's a full shower. There's an outdoor shower. There's a kitchen inside and a kitchen outside. It's wild. You know what? Let me show you guys around. Obviously, this is a brand new travel trailer, so we don't have any bedding on the bed yet. Nothing is in the storage right now. This is a blank canvas. We are going to be stocking this thing together. We're gonna to be figuring this thing out together. I'm very, very excited because I think it's important for other moms, other women, other families like mine who don't think that this is something they can handle or something that they can do, something they can afford. I wanna be able to share with you, you can. There's no one size fits all for how your family should travel, what your needs are, where you wanna go, what you wanna do. I'm excited for you guys to come along. So here's the bedroom area. The bed is very comfortable. I am a child. I actually fit underneath of this headboard, which is kind of fun. My inner child definitely wants to hang a blanket up right here and put it down and have like a little bunk for Oh my gosh, I have to do that. I have to have a little secret space right here. Maybe I could read or hang some lights. I don't know. This just came to me as I'm sitting under here. The kids would love that too. Maybe we should sit right now so you can see me. In the bedroom area, the bed, super comfortable. It says it's a 10 kill pencil. It's a queen size bed. Up here, these are actually extra storage. There's one on either side. And then on either side of the bed, you have a little reading light for both sides and it's just a touch button. Over here on the wall, there's two outlets. So you can charge your phones and your iPads there. And then on this side and that side, there are two closet wardrobe spaces. There's actually a light, let me turn it on. These actually go pretty deep and there's hanging racks on there. They go down. I mean, I feel like I could fit in there, but I don't know, I don't wanna get stuck in it. I'm not gonna do that today. That's not where the storage ends though. Up here on either side of the bed, there's also more storage. I actually haven't looked in here, so I don't even know what this stuff is. Some manuals. A lot of this is written in um, Chinese. Plenty of storage. As you can see, there's mood lighting here and that's controlled by a remote control. So there's all kinds of different colors, scenes that you can create. The windows and the light in this space are incredible. There's two huge windows on either side of the bed. I can't wait to show you the lounge area because those windows I'm just dreaming about. 
They're just so nice. They're so big. They're so clear. I can't wait to watch this thing. Sorry, the windows are dirty. I just got so excited. I haven't had a chance to wash this or detail it before I shared it with you guys. What's cool about all the windows in here is that the blinds close or you can push out the window and just open up the shade and let fresh air in. I actually haven't even opened the window, so this will be the first time I've done that. Oh, oh wow. They really open up here. I'm just like seeing it now, like sitting here, reading a book, looking out at the, the great unknown. I don't know, guys, I'm a dreamer, but like I said, you can just raise up the screen there and then have the nice breeze without the bugs. Because, yeah, bugs are something I'm not looking forward to. And that was really easy to do as well. You also have a TV in the bedroom, as well as this beautiful skylight, which I'm excited about to look at the stars. You can also push that open, close the screen. So the lighting is just gorgeous. So as we walk back this way, I'm gonna start with the bathroom. On this side, you have a shower. On this side, you have the toilet with a beautiful sink, beautiful mirrors. It also has a window and ventilation in there. What I really love about this bathroom space is when you close the bathroom door, or when you open it rather, you're able to close off the bathroom area. So right now it's like I have my own master bedroom suite. The bedroom's here, this door is closed. I have complete privacy to go to the bathroom, to use the shower but there's also a door here in front of me that I can slide closed so that I could have complete separation from the master bedroom and from the living space and kitchen and just have my own full bathroom. And of course they both have doors. Somebody can be in the bathroom, somebody can be in the shower at the same time and have total privacy. So let's start with the shower. This is a very good size shower. And like I said, there is a door that you can close. I've been waiting for this moment. True story, when Handsome and I first started dating, we thought that we had a blue microwave and we could not understand. And then behind this door, we have toilet with also a window. It has this nice big sink, these big mirrors, a little makeup mirror here. As we continue our tour this way through the RV, Let's start with the kitchen. I have always wanted a window over the kitchen sink. And now I'm imagining where this travel trailer can go and what my views will be like looking out this window. And I just see myself washing up after meals with my kids and the kids are outside running around playing. I'm very, very excited. Coincidentally, uh, my DoorDash order just came as I'm about to show you the kitchen. This kitchen is fully equipped. It has a nice deep sink with filtered water and then over here underneath of this glass top you have a three burner gas stove as well as an oven which is nice and deep there's storage all around so everywhere you see one of these cabinets there's more storage up here all three of those i love this this cabinet here has it's like a spice rack. I call it a spice rack. I guess you could put things besides spices there, but just a nice, easy way to organize your kitchen and dishwashing needs, I guess. Ken, you'll be stocking this thing with me, so we will see what we come up with. Damn it, one of these days I'm gonna do the dishes and watch my kids running around and playing, and you guys are gonna be there. And then over here, these are all drawers. So again, more storage. The sink and stove are on this side. Then we have the freezer, the fridge, and the microwave on this side. So over here, you have the fridge and the freezer. And there's also a microwave, which is big time in our house. So it's a pretty decent sized one. Over here, this U-shaped dinette is very large. So there's plenty of room for our entire family here and friends. Just imagining playing cards, having nice meals with the family. The only thing that I've noticed since we've been playing around in here is that my three-year-old is still pretty small. When he was sitting here, like, it's perfect for me, you adults, the other kids, but he just was like a little bit far away, but I don't know why, because it doesn't feel that far away right now. I hope the light's okay, because I have this shade down. The sun is coming right through this window right here. But as you can see, three huge windows on all of the sides. It's panoramic between the kitchen window here and then these windows going all the way around. It is gorgeous. I can't wait till I have something to show you out these windows besides my neighbor's houses, who I love. Hi guys. These cushions are pretty comfortable. Everywhere, again, where you see 
these cabinets is extra storage. So there's one, two, three, four, five cabinets over here. There's also a skylight that can open just like the bedroom one. You can push it out for air and a breeze. And then there's plenty of lights too. That reminds me to let you know there's also solar power in this thing. It's amazing. As you're sitting right here, there's also a TV. So you can be eating your food with your family, watching a show. We've already done that. That's, that's basically what we've done so far in here. Let me show you now why I said this was also going to be where the kids sleep. So this table actually converts into a bed area. It's very easy. It's nothing crazy. You push the table down and then I grab this cushion here and you just rearrange them. This is the way we've been doing it because it works easy. And then you just push this cushion down here and now you have a whole bed lounge area. Again, this is a nice space for the family almost to be on a couch and just all cuddle up with a blanket and a movie here with the TV. We'll obviously have blankets <sighs> and then they can just lay down. Again, there is this skylight here. So if it's a nice starry night, hopefully they can be laying here and looking up at the stars. There's plenty of room for my kids here.